AliExpress is a huge online retail marketplace based in China and you can get some extremely good value bike parts on there like this 200 pound carbon performance group set with discs, rotors and everything, even a chain. But there's a few things you should know before ordering. Sensor, L2, Lun Wheels, Elite Wheels, Windspace, Z Race, Juin Tech. All of these brands have a reputation, customer service, and aftercare. Most of these are owned and registered in the Far East and have official stores on AliExpress. And some are just available from existing outlets on AliExpress. Generally speaking, all of these brands are known to respect patent laws, provide customer service, and even some of them have UCI approved products like the Elves frame sets. There will be some more that could be added to this list. These are the ones that I've had experience with, but feel free to mention some others in the comment section down below. Stuff takes ages to turn up. I ordered this like six weeks ago. One by Gravel Mech. Speaking as someone based in the UK, China is quite far away. So everything takes a while to get here. Everything on there seems to say in stock, but I don't know if this is actually true and things are being made to order or if it actually takes just ages to ship because it's it's on a ship. In any case, it can take absolutely ages. So factor that in. If you're looking to build a bike quickly, then uh, your stuff might take a while. They do provide you with estimates on the shopping pages, but generally I found these to be completely wrong. So the estimate for this was wrong. I've ordered brakes before and they've only taken three weeks to arrive and it said about eight weeks. And I know my friend Harry ordered a whole frame set from AliExpress and it took even longer than that. So I guess just don't order from AliExpress if you're in a rush. In terms of import tax, it depends which outlets that you buy stuff from. This group set made by Sensor, I went through the official Sensor store and on the receipt you can see they factored in tax into the price of the bundle. Now that's not always the case, sometimes there isn't any tax on there at all. I don't know if there's some fiddling going on with the numbers. I've heard rumours of people receiving tax letters in the post weeks after ordering but none of the stuff that I've ordered and the earliest one was probably six, seven months ago have had that problem. I've actually had more issues ordering stuff from Europe recently than any of this. So. Thanks Brexit. Depending on the seller, you'll probably have some tracking as well. It's pretty rudimentary. It will basically tell you when it's left China, when it's arrived in the destination country, and then when it's out for delivery. So it's okay, and you can see that your order is in motion, but it's not really that detailed. So nice to have, especially in terms of peace of mind, but not the most detailed, so I don't rely on it too much. Shop around for bundles. This is good for a few reasons. One, everything should be compatible. They've put these packages together on purpose and everything is gonna work with everything else. So you're not gonna accidentally end up with a BB that doesn't fit your chain set. Everything's been packaged nicely and chosen to work seamlessly. On top of this, it's only one transaction and you're going through one seller. So even though it says free postage, they're factoring in postage into the price. If you're only gonna buy one box of stuff, there's only one thing to keep track of, there's only one set of postage, and there's only one set of tax. On top of that, the more you spend with one company, the more likely they are to give you a better deal. When I have gone to look at individual parts, it's always ended up being slightly cheaper buying them as a bundle, even if I've ended up with stuff that I'm not gonna use. So my frame doesn't take this threaded bottom bracket. I've ended up with quite a few of them, but it's cheaper to buy the bundle than it would be to buy all of these parts separately. Furthermore, the sellers that are actually making these bundles tend to be the legit ones as well. So if you find a bundle, they've put effort into making it. Generally, you should be fine. Think about AliExpress like it's Amazon, but with a really bad search feature that doesn't really work properly and returns different results every time you use it. But it's a marketplace with different sellers and the sellers have reviews on their items. Check the reviews because generally, if something has been reviewed well, it means one, people have actually received it and you can see what people think of the product. When you've got thousands of people doing this, you get a pretty good sample of users and you can work out if it's something that's worth looking into. The more time and research you put into these things, the better result you're gonna end up with. Even look on YouTube, there are other people testing these products. It's worth checking out China Cycling and Trace Velo. They both have excellent reviews of slightly lesser known products that aren't in the mainstream media. Be prepared to fit stuff yourself. Maybe not. Your local bike shop might be willing to help you install some of this stuff, but they might not. It's gonna be unfamiliar. They might not like working on unknown brands. They might not have time to work on stuff that you're not buying from them directly. I'm sure there are dedicated workshops out there that will, but be prepared to do some of your own mechanics. Most of the parts available and the stuff that I've used are all cable operated. There's no brake bleeds involved. You can usually install them without too much hassle and a basic home toolkit. You don't need all of this. Bike shop man, Nick, what would you do in your shop and how do you think other bike shops would react if someone came in 
with a AliExpress group set or wheels or handlebars or parts. The biggest thing is liability. So if you fit it, people kind of assume that you're giving it a stamp of approval. I mean, we find even with like really, if something's worn out second hand, we try and kind of advise people against it. But I mean, if they're willing to pay to have it fitted, most of the time we'll do it. We'll just write in the job card clearly stating that we recommend against it. I'm not saying all of it's bad, because you get some second-hand Shimano stuff that's in way worse, more dangerous conditions, but it's who's liable in the end, that's the problem. Do you think how you're approached by a customer makes a big difference in if you're gonna actually work with them or not? Yes, being polite and friendly and stuff gets you a long way. Always respect that your bike shop has limited time and any time spent working on parts that they're not familiar with and may take some research, they're gonna be totally within their right to charge a premium for it. So if you're really stuck, you can approach them, but be polite, but don't be surprised if they don't wanna work on parts like this. Customer service and aftercare is going to completely depend on where you order the parts from. Like I said, it's a bit like Amazon. There are different stores and the amount of customer service and the quality of that customer service is going to change dramatically between who you buy from. Now, when you order something from one of these private stores, your money actually goes to AliExpress first and your payment isn't actually released to the store that you bought the stuff from until you receive it. That means if there is a problem with postage and something just doesn't get to you, you're covered to an extent. Now, this hasn't personally happened to me, so I don't know exactly what the process is when that does happen, but everything has arrived to me safe and sound, or just fairly safe and sound. It's, it, the boxes have been a bit beaten up, but everything's been fine inside. Further to that, there is a chat feature on the website. I actually had a bit of a problem where the rubber hoods on one of my group sets were mismatched. So it was kind of nice rubber on one of them and then a bit kind of hard mismatched rubber on the other. I was interested to see if they'd reply and try and resolve it and the answer is yes they got back in touch straight away and I think if I put some pressure on them they would have happily sent some new ones to keep me content. Naturally there is a bit of a language barrier so I don't think speaking to anybody on the phone would be an option but the live chat's pretty good. In my experience the companies that I've dealt with have replied within 24 hours but it goes to show how important it is to go with the named brands rather than fake stuff. Which is my next point. There is a fair bit of fake stuff on AliExpress. Has a bit of a reputation for it. You can buy fake cycling jerseys, fake zip handlebars. Don't buy them though, because it's dangerous. And it's not fair to the companies that they're ripping off. The biggest problem with this is safety. So if you were gonna buy a set of carbon handlebars, a carbon stem, fake carbon frame, fake brakes, all of these, could fail at any minute. You don't know if there's any proper testing going on, you don't know if there's any quality control, there's certainly not gonna be any good customer service, and it's just not worth putting your life in the hands of fake cycling products, which, to be honest, are not that much cheaper than the legit brands on AliExpress. Granted, they're a lot cheaper than the Western brands that they're copying, but you're not getting the actual thing. I guess they exist because people want the label, they want their bike to say S-Works on it. In any case, not worth it, don't buy the fake stuff. It's not fair, it's not right, and it's dangerous. Usually, if you look at the product images and the blurb, you can tell if something's fake. It doesn't look quite right, and the description might have spelling errors in, but the biggest giveaway in my mind is that the price is too good to be true. If it looks too good to be true, it is, especially if it's on AliExpress. Know what the normal prices are, do your research, read the reviews, and you'll probably be all right. Now, I'm gonna be testing more stuff on this channel, so you don't have to. Next up, Probably next up. I've actually got a few boxes of stuff lying around. But this one is a uh, one by Carbon Group set. Gonna go on a gravel bike. Subscribe for more. Please leave any questions in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon.